Not coming in, Grease? I'll catch up. I'm gonna stay on the Manus check diagnostics. Well, if you need repairs, I'm sure the Anchorites would be happy to help. Ooh, no thanks. I don't want those weirdos rooting through my ship. I agree, but how can we be sure it's safe? We cannot. The network's resources are stretched thin, and some local leaders are unwilling to accept the risks. How can we convince them? Many fear that accepting refugees will put a target on their back. Cal, you're back. Did you find anything? Think so. Good. Cordova will be glad to hear it. How did you and the Anchorites end up building this archive? Well, we began our work in the holy city of Nijeda. Preserving whatever we could find of the Jedi tradition. Sounds like a dangerous place to collect outlawed teachings. Too dangerous. After one too many close calls with the Empire, I convinced the Narcus to relocate here. We found this abandoned monastery. And set about building everything you see. I can't believe you did all this in only a couple of years. Well, it's been hard work, but... Once I understood my calling, I had to answer it. That you did. It hurt when you left. Felt like you quit on us in the middle of a fight. I know. But you were trying to restore the order. Rebuild what was lost. The fight was never your goal. Are you so sure it's yours? Safe travels, Cal. We'll talk later. Look after him out there, BD. A strange device. This one seems to be a duplicate. Both have been damaged by the lightsabers. Wasn't me this time. Perish the thought, hmm? You think you can fix it? I don't know, but I will certainly try. Master Junda, the Empire is nearing Pilgrim Sanctuary. Is it a strike force? No, an excavation team. Good, and they don't know about the safe house. Yet. Safe house? Hidden in the ruins. Have we begun evacuations? They're already underway, but Brother Armaius isn't responding. Armaius has the communication codes. If they capture him, they could put the entire hidden path at risk. I know the ruins. I will go. I'm coming with you. Boat. You know what? I think I should stay here. Make myself useful. I could use a research assistant. Bring back Armaius. You got it. And no heroics. With this one? No promises. I think she was talking to you. Is the safe house far? No, but we will need a spammel to get there. They gather near the base. Follow me. Let's stop for a moment. I'm ready. Then we go together. What was this place? An old anchorite monastery. <clears throat> Impressive, isn't it? Huh. Yeah. Pilgrim Sanctuary is an ancient temple. Seer and Master Cordova chose it as the Hidden Path's safe house. We knew one day the Empire would come. Just not so soon. Master Junda told us of your coming. It is an honor to meet one she holds in such high regard. May I escort you? I have never met a witch before, and I have so many questions. 
Are you coming? We need to find Armaius in those contact codes. Pilgrim's Crossing is on the other side of the desert. This way, Master Junda. We are nearly there. So, what do you think? It's old, abandoned, and in the middle of nowhere. It's perfect. Sometimes everything out in the desert starts to look the same. You must focus on what is different. That is how you will not get lost. Enemies up ahead. Have we walked in on another dangerous expedition? Well, the feral sneakfish prefers the taste of crab, but would happily settle for your tool. Are you sure all of this is worth the risk? There's great beauty in peril, lad. And these noble beasts demand respect, you know, as you'll see. for a noble beast demanding great respect. Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. I'll deal with you later. Shall we continue me, uh, sordid tale? Aye, so we return to my time on the grapnel. Against the protestations of my heart, I forsook the road in line for the harpoon. For years, we trawled the outer rim, sparing every fish that happened across our path. Talented as I was, I speared more fish than the rest of the crew, put together. Fool as I was, I didn't have the wisdom to be ashamed. The dread captain, Wanyak Wet, took notice. He showered me in brevet, gave me the best of catches, and scarcely a year after I left Sakavi Tar, I became his first mate. Shortly after my promotion, we were on our way to Manan to sell the carcass of a goober fish, but... Wham! Just as we dove out of hyperspace and the great ocean world straight into view, so did she. The most glorious creature I'd ever beheld. A whale of marvelous proportion. But swimming through Manan's orbit like it was nothing but an easterly current back home. I was transfixed. No kidding. How close did you get? Funny you should ask. I didn't have long to set me eyes a bulge before he crashed headlong into her. The grapnel bounced off her like chum of flotsam. We plummeted down to the ocean, sundering the grapnel on the sea floor, where a gang of pirate quarren were holed up. The filthy Zephyrs. We swam out of the riven hull and found ourselves surrounded by quarren, demanded all manner things, including our bounty of fish. So... Away we swam, Captain White, the crew, and myself. But, blind as we were at such depth, we shortly ran into a dead end, finding ourselves surrounded by Quarren. Find me again, and I'll continue the tale. <laughs> Will you work for Saw Gerrera again? Not sure. I haven't heard from him since Coruscant. You do not belong on Jeddah. It's the ghost! Run for your lives! <laughs> Guard up.
well fought beast you remind me of home you know were you hungry now you will feed the other creatures there's our ride I need to focus. Welcome back. Let's hope this spammel doesn't abandon us. Don't hold a grudge, Cal. It's not you. desert seems like it goes on forever. Yes, it continues to surprise me. Let's give it a home in Sears' archive. I think that helped. <laughs> Let's try this.
So what'd you find? Ah, the Pilgrim Moon never ceases to mystify and delight me. Those who revered Force users clearly built these trials. But to what purpose, I wonder? What's something you learned traveling the galaxy? That sometimes it's best not to ask questions and to keep your eyes on the path ahead. Wonder what that does. Well done, Cal. You are Master Junior's friend. My thanks. I would not travel by day if I were you. The Empire's presence has grown. Wise counsel. I am in your debt. possess the force to enter these holy sites. These sands hold the wisdom of all those who walked them centuries ago. Remarkable. This was worth the journey, my friend. Let's take this to Sister Task. He likes it out here.
Enemies up ahead. <laughs> You're not coming? This you should do on your own. How did it go? It's done. Steady, steady. Fight with me. Your souls are forfeit.
do you seek here, friend? This galaxy is in chaos. I seek clarity of mind. Mm. You share a purpose. The Empire destroyed my home. All I have is what little wisdom I possess. Let's travel together then. It is a long road to Pilgrim's Sanctuary. Defend me. Meddling in the affairs of other cults will bring only ruin, sister. How can we stand by while innocents suffer? I know it is difficult, but have faith. The Force will guide us to our true purpose. Let's keep going. Unnecessary attention. Won't be easy when the desert's littered with imps. Then we will deal with them. <laughs> Enemies up ahead. Time to go. Slower now. Make sure 
sure the others are rested. But we must set out soon. As you say, Master Junta. For what purpose is our journey? The same as you have devoted your life to. To collect and preserve knowledge of the Jedi tradition. We found this before the Empire could. Right. Have you come across the Narcus Anchorites, friend? I have. They gave me water and a warning. Beware the central isoptics, for they trade only in death. Time to move. Found him. <laughs> Looks easy to get lost out here. Then it is a good thing you have a guide. You got it. You get involved with a hidden path. I came across someone in need during my travels and helped them hide from the Empire. That eventually led me to the path. Sometimes I wonder if destroying the Holocron had any impact. We protected the children on that list. But there are others. And the Empire still hunting them down. Just so. We must protect those we can. 
Ready to work, BD? That should do it. I can definitely work with that. Space. Yes, they are ancient. A remnant of those we've seen before. When the Empire arrived, the Incorrects began to use these. Old tech is less conspicuous. Exactly. The safe house is in there? Yes. The temple is abandoned and well fortified. Perfect place to hide from the Empire. So we thought. We'll find Brother Armaius. I hope so. We will take the back route. It is the fastest way. That looks like trouble. At least there's two of us. Just like old times. Nasty things. Did you find the way to Tanalor? Not yet. But we found some devices from the High Republic. Master Cordova's inspecting them now. Seer and her master are quite there. They've been a vital asset to the path since they joined us. Did you come across any other Jedi on your travels? No, no. If I had, I would have contacted you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Nice. A shortcut to Sears base. Slow their progress. We'll regroup near the temple. Hey, Merit. Watch yourself out there. I'll be doing the watching, pal. Just you and me again. Welcome, traveler. Though your journey started long ago. Huh. Guy looks hungry. Careful not to touch anything here. Don't want to wake the dead. <laughs> Devoted to the very end. But to what co Pause. <laughs> Throw me a stim baby. Good save. I think Sister Task will want to take a look at this. Stuck the landing. <laughs> A map of the region. There's Pilgrim Sanctuary across the bridge. Wonder what those markers mean. <clears throat> Brace yourself, BD. This remind you of Zepho too? Can't make that. Too windy.
never heard anything like that before? Almost like music. My journey ends here. Perhaps another traveler might find this useful on the path. Not everyone has the strength to make the journey. Fight together. You will that. They were waiting on a shuttle. Means more on the way. Got to do something about that. What kind of pilgrims came out here anyway? Imagine crossing these gales just to find a safe place. Guess you can't put a price on sanctuary. <laughs> Marin mentioned this was the back route, right? Hope Sears got another way for these refugees. They've been through enough. That should give us some cover. All clear. Keeping busy. Why didn't the Empire give us a nickname?
another. Stormtroopers weren't ready for these conditions. And it doesn't hurt to have a desert ghost on our side. Maybe the wind's turning in our favor for once. Onwards, traveler. Cross over. Cross over to what? Glad we found this. Say anything about the path? Rest, reflection, direction. Onwards, traveler. Encouraging. Empire brought a new toy. I need a stem. It's 
easy to get knocked off course around here. Let's move carefully. Watching out for us, buddy. Where's our shuttle? We gotta clear out before excavation reaches that temple. They're dispatching another. I wanna have a front row seat when they try out the big gun. Not a threat. Give us a boost. Almost helps you ignore all the bone piles. <sighs> Seek not the path, return to stillness, traveler, and the way reveals itself. Easy to say when you're already resting in peace. Can't go this way. Another crypt. Ted Marin would love this place.
droid with its master. Another trinket for another traveler lost and found on the way to the crossing. For this, we honor their efforts and memorialize their voice forevermore. Each bell represents someone who passed away on their pilgrimage. Another stem. Here you go. I heard you. Not sure I understand, though. Tis the noise, lad. A fisher must be master of all the senses, eh? We're in the lair of the fat-tailed lawfish, the greatest smeller of things foul beyond the deep core. Are you saying we smell foul? You know the foul peach. I need to worry. Being clever, I can to apply the pungent musk of the glotsome crab to me suit. Oh, the old fishy won't know what hit him. Scuva. Whatever happened with the pirates? So there we were. Four quarren, armed with spears, each way a mind to make a mantle piece of a wee rubbery head. I looked over to me, Captain, and he stared right back, waving his arms like a, a goober fish in heat. At the harpoon I held in my hand. Oh, for a black instant, I considered nailing those pirate quarren to the rocks with my harpoon. But something stopped me from pulling the trigger. Perhaps it was the sparkle that caught my eye. The sparkle of a passing glumbering eel. What would those pirates say to a whole school of glumbering eels? A crackle and a sparkle as they be, thought I. So I opened my wee mouth and emitted the mating call of the eel. You speak eel? Aye, but I forgot to turn on me calm. We scriven alone heard the cry. But that demented expression put such a fright on the quarrel that it dropped the blasters. By the time they'd come to the senses, we were swimming away as fast as our flippers could carry us. It was only later, as we fled aboard the Zephyr's schooner, that I realized how close the real danger was. But I shall continue my tale next time. <laughs>
You can make it. I'm Cal. This is BD1. I'm Peely. Didn't expect to see any pilgrims today. What are you doing out here? Tending to what I can. But very little grows here, as you can see. You should check out the Kobo system. Everything grows there. Sounds lovely. Perhaps I will. Just tell the bartender of Pylon Saloon I sent you. He'll get you set up. This is an odd place for a garden. I've been feeling rather aimless. So like the pilgrims, I came to find a new direction. When I came across these struggling seeds, I had to tend to them. I'm amazed anything grows out here. <laughs> Life is stubborn like that, I suppose. I know this effort was futile, but it is my duty as a botanist. I understand, but this is a desert. These are hardly the conditions for life to thrive. I know that. Perhaps I never wanted to admit that. Your efforts aren't wasted. But sometimes you need to know when to walk away. It's not defeat. It's just redirection. Hmm. I shall think on that, Cal. Stay safe, Peely. The imps are all around us. I believe I'll take your advice and head to the Kobo system. See you there someday, I hope. Leads up to the bridge. A botanist in the desert. She must have been really lost. We're desperate to find her way. Another scroll. the Pilgrim Sanctuary. Interesting. I could use a break. been here for centuries. I did what I could, but there is an Imperial unit up ahead. Thought I should warn you. Sounds good. Lead the way. Did the 
Empire find a way into the temple yet? No. But I have heard imps talking of a new excavation machine. Let's move. Marin? One moment. Still impressive. You have not seen the true extent of my powers, Calcestis. Where are you going? been here for a long time. without some help. Then it is good this path was designed by the Hear that? The ruins are singing. It's coming from that chamber. Then you must find a way in. Over here, Cal! Now or never. treasures worth dying for. <sighs> My lucky BD looks well preserved. This place is strong in the force. Welcome back. Hey. The Imperial labor camp on Maza. The garrison's half empty. We can strike before reinforcements arrive. Sounds promising, but Marin and Grease haven't made it back to the ship yet. Well, as soon as they do, I'll scout ahead and they can rest on the Mantis. You know they'll never allow themselves to rest if you're in danger. You never give up. And that's what inspires all of us. But you have to remember that where you lead, they will follow. I know I've been pushing recently, but 
Ever since Grease what got hurt. What happened to Grease is not your fault. But ever since then, you've been reckless. I keep worrying about something bad happening to one of you. It's good to acknowledge your fear. But don't let it determine your path. Focus on the moment. Choose your direction and act with certainty. And trust that, whatever the odds, you'll pull through. Cal, trust yourself. Trust in the Force. Exactly. Holding back now. Focus on the moment and push through. We gotta take this storm head on. Brace yourself, BD. She always knows where to guide me. Even if I don't know my next step. Cal, what happened? See for yourself. find out. What's the Empire up to? They're at the temple entrance, <laughs> waiting for something. And we still got time. are with us now. That drill will take time to set up. Hope Marin can slow them down. Doing BD? Having fun back there? Oh, my God. 
Incredible. But that won't stop the Empire from reducing it to rubble. Hang on to this. Gotta hurry. Brother Armias can't hide forever. You know what to do. Sanctuary to all who seek it. Sounds too good to be true. Pilgrim Sanctuary should prove a worthy location for the safe house. Its proximity to the archive is ideal. And with a bit of your slicing, this temple could once again provide safe haven for those who need it most. Focus. Doesn't sound good. This place won't hold long. Pilgrim Sanctuary has some new caretakers. That sentry droid could be trouble. Look at this. Defend me. Empire's 
still has no idea what's under their noses. But they'll find the safe house eventually. Let's keep moving. No sign of the path safe house yet. I'm led to believe that there is a vast network of subterranean waterways beneath the temple. Perfect. That should be our operation cover from Imperial scanners. Scroll. Let's save it.
Okay, getting closer. So this is where they've been hiding. Hunted by the Empire. Always on the run. We know what that's like. Let's check it out. There was a scramble to evacuate. Quickly, everyone! This way! Hurry! Are you coming with us? I must remain here a little longer. Go now, there is no time. I will seal the passage behind you. May the Force be with you all. now. See your Junda sent me. Master Junda, you use the force, you're Cal Kestis. It's time to go. The Empire's closing in. Yes, which is why this must make it back to Master Junda. These contact codes cannot fall into the hands of the Empire. Old times. Ah! Ah! Shooting at the party. Don't kill me. 
I have missed fighting at your side. Desert Ghost. About to find. Good. They must never learn that the path is here. Idea, but I need to know 
opening. How did you do that? A ritual I learned when I returned to Dathomir. It is taxing. You okay? I am fine. Come on. Let's get these coats to see her. Ready to go? Droid, try not to get Kyle in too much trouble. Cal, DD, well-timed. I remembered a second location you might wish to explore. Another temple? Quite so. This one is in the southern desert, and it is quite magnificent. When I visited, I felt the weight of the past upon me. I am sure you will too. Sounds incredible. I think so. Although it was certainly simpler before the Empire increased its presence here. Stay alert out there. See her. He couldn't save Armaius. He gave his life for this. I'm sorry. I know you did your best, Cal. And the Empire? They did not track us. Hey, Scrapper. Glad you made it back in one piece. Master Cordova. Did you find a way across the abyss? No. But you may have, Cal. Boat and I were able to find some interesting data in the archives. Let's show them what we dug up. Centuries ago, the Republic established the colony on Kobol to study a stellar anomaly known as the abyss. Santari Kree led the research team. 
that sea with him. Early attempts to navigate the abyss ended in disaster. The Republic was on the verge of abandoning the project. And then guess who volunteers to fly in alone and discovers a planet on the other side? Dagon. Using the data from his voyage, Kree invented the Abyss Compass to guide others safely to Tannel. The Republic established a settlement, the Jedi built a temple, just like you said, Cal. Regrettably, a time of peace and prosperity was disrupted when Outer Rim Marauders invaded. I saw them too, but how'd they get across the Abyss? They must have stolen a compass. Don't worry, we won't be so careless. Overwhelmed, the Republic abandoned Tantalor, and the Jedi Council ordered Creed to destroy the compasses. Dagon Gera refused and rebelled against the Order. That is a Gendai. They do not often ally with other species. Looks like Ravis has been working with Dagon for a lot longer than we thought. So the Order sent Jedi to secure the compasses. Dagon murders them over it. Jedi. Killing other Jedi. But Centauri said that Dagon was the key to Tantalor. Maybe he is young Jedi. Despite my efforts, those compasses you brought me were beyond repair. However, records indicate that three were unaccounted for. So you're saying one might still be out there? Yes. And Dagon sent his army to look for it. <laughs> I'd ask you to stay and help us, but I recognize that look. Well, look. Hope. That planet could be a haven for those who stand against the Empire. So you coming with us? I mean, Grease can make room on the Mantis. For all of you. No. This place needs me. The Hidden Path needs me. Cordova? I'm sorry, my friend. But for now, my place is on Jeddah with Seer. Let me prepare a data stick so you'll have access to our research wherever your journey takes you. Let me guess. You're staying too. When we first met, I thought that what we shared was... unique. Survivors. Fighting together against the Empire who took our families. You helped me realize I wasn't alone. As did you. But there is a galaxy full of people who have suffered as we have. It's as you said. Perhaps you have found a sanctuary for them. Perhaps. If we can get to it. I will join you. Besides, it's been far too long since I've made Grease's hair stand on end. See you back on the Mantis night, sister. We should return to Kobo soon. I'll just need a moment here. You're upset about our bias. Aren't you? Of course. But this is not the first life lost in our struggle. And it will not be the last. I know, but we were so close here. Brother Armias served the cause faithfully. And that service lives on through our determination to keep moving forward. What happens to the safe house now? It will be a long time before we can risk sending anyone to collect what remains. I'm curious to hear what you make of Dagon Gera's history. Dagon felt like his life's work was being threatened. That obsession led him astray. <laughs> Sounds all too familiar. What do you mean? You may recall that I had a vision foretelling the fall of the Order. Of the Council. Well, let's just say that my warnings fell on deaf ears. In my arrogance, I felt betrayed. But you were right. That's beside the point. I allowed my wounded pride to cloud my judgment. When the purge began, I was still searching for proof that my vision was true. Instead of being there to support Seer and her Padawan. Good luck on Kobo, my friend. Time for us to make our move.
All set. Let's catch up later. The spirit withers before the force of others. Didn't the first tract say, the life force blooms? Perceptive. They're completely incompatible. We seek universal truth, brother. If one tablet says withers, and the other says blooms, neither is universal by definition. So we ask, what do they have in common? What do they have in common, brother? That you ought to be reading them. No more dithering. I heard more patrols last night. Oh? It was like a stampede. I couldn't sleep. I see. I suppose you slept like an akpup. To the Imperials, we are doom rats in our warrens. They cannot hunt without sight. And they are blind to the subtle life of the desert. I hope you're right. Do not dwell on the Empire. Focus on the tasks before you. The Anchorites will want to see this. Not a bad find. Lucky BD. Looks well preserved.
did the trick. safe houses does the path have left? I do not know. But I suspect there are not many. nearby. My sincerest appreciation to those who have tread this path before me. In time, I hope this effort enables me to see Jedi as they once did. This galaxy is in turmoil, and we need the wisdom of those who came before us. Not far from here. Let's try this. Come here! 
of them. Fascinating. I spent a lifetime unearthing the mysteries of the Zephyr, and now an abundance of lost knowledge awaits me. Oh, a staggering proposition. This galaxy is too vast for one mind for a single lifetime, but I find it exhilarating. What a joy to know that when my footsteps disappear into the sands, others will take my place. The ruins must be connected. Cordova would know. Watch your step, Jedi. I didn't know there were any Narcus scouting this close to the Empire. There aren't. And I'm not scouting. Leave me in peace. Very well. So what are you doing out here? Waiting for a gap in the patrols. I'm taking the antiquities from this warehouse cache. Taking them back to the Archive? No. To the Holy City. I'm going to sell them. Sell them? We weren't supposed to fight your war, Jedi. But we're paying your price. I'm not going to go the way of Armaeus. These relics should be worth enough credits to buy passage off-world. Listen, if the Empire traces those relics to this region, they might suspect something. And if they do, look around. The Empire's already here. What about when they find out you're selling relics from an active Imperial search zone? At best, they'll ask questions. And they can do a lot worse. I've made up my mind, Jedi. I'm taking these relics. That's all there is to say. You will leave the relics here. I... I will leave the relics here. They're worthless trinkets. You wouldn't be able to sell them. They're... worthless. 
I wouldn't be able to sell them. I think I'd better leave it all here. Take the door codes. Do what you want with them. It doesn't matter to me. All right. Just stay safe. The Empire's everywhere. I will. Not bad. Guard up. We better get this back to the archive. It's fine. Right, pal? Go on! to center myself. Off we go. This Jedi is just a loose end from the Clone Wars. He'll be done. Roger. 
That did the trick. Feeling so great, BD.
fight together. together. Let's take this to the sister task. This is tuned to perfection and ready to go. <laughs> so where are we going? Back to Kobo. Turns out we need a special compass to navigate the abyss. A compass? Okay, sure, sure. Whatever you say, kid. Oh, and Marin's coming along. Wait, what? Mar Marin's joining us? Why didn't you tell me? I could have cleaned up the place. Oh, this is just perfect. Uh, Marin's with us. We can go back to Coruscant. Hello? Good. I've been meaning to check up on Mona. The Mantis has changed. Oh, yeah. Callan's boat, 
They ain't exactly the cleaning types. I cleaned this morning. Wait, did I? No, I didn't. That, that's on me. Merritt, I didn't know you were coming. Hey, maybe I'll pick up some SCAS steaks. Why'd you join back up anyways? Seer and I believe Tandalor could be a refuge for those persecuted by the Empire. Persecuted by the Empire, huh? Kinda get crowded. Sit down, we're here. Welcome to Kobo. Cal! Cal, so glad you're back! You missed all the action! It was horrible! Did something happen? The raiders paid us another visit. Took a shine to that droid you found. See? They took her, Cal! Carried her right out! She's been droid-napped! My saloon better be okay, Turgle. I think you brought this down on us! I'm innocent, Mr. Grease! Promise! Dagon sent them. He's after Tantalor. There must be something more to Z than we realized. Something scrambled up in her memory banks. We have to rescue her. Once he gets what he wants, he'll scrap her for sure. It won't be easy to get her back. The raider base is in the swamp. They gutted an old Luker Hulk battleship from the Clone Wars. We've seen it. Means they got a lot of firepower. As do we. She's right. Now's our time to move. I like where this is going. They already have what they came for. They're back at that fortress feeling safe, complacent. They'll never see it coming. Maybe not. But if you're wrong, then they'll be looking for payback. Not to worry. I will stay here and look after Grease and the others. You sure? I think you two can manage. Just don't let him swim without supervision. Let me know if you need help. My sex. Name's Mosey. Marin. All right. I'll scout ahead. Meet you there. to a pretty good start here, buddy. Thanks to your cultivation, I was able to expand our garden. Hi, Peely. So far, Kobo has been a welcoming home, and this rooftop's energy drew me towards it. You feel a connection to this garden? Yes. We will help each other grow. Looks like you've already started. Divines? Yes, they sprouted overnight, but there's so much more to discover. If you plant new seeds, I'll tell you all about them. But, much like healthy roots, do not overextend yourself. Grow the plants we have, and I'll clear more garden space in due time. That fruit shell will be wonderful when it flowers. The wide-brimmed leaves provide shade for the thin stem which can blister in the heat very easily, you know. Ooh, a cactus ball. Its sharpest thorns are right in the center to defend against the most persistent predator. That tuber maw will take to the soil well, I believe. The bright colors are to intimidate predators. Truly, the plant is harmless and quite pretty. The plants need me. All right, ready to do some gardening? That's a new species. Better hear what Peely has to say about it.
I think they'll like it there, buddy. Get to growing. Might as well plant some of these seeds. Healy would appreciate this new species. Let's talk to her. And plant it. How about here? I appreciate your time and effort, Cal. Now we wait. Here's your new home. They all get along. Aye, but this is no the time for self congratulation, laddie. There's still leagues of bubbles left for more fishes. Let the hunt continue. question. Do you have what it takes to best the rest of these tacticians? You do not fear my strategy. You will. Go! That unit is toast! 
splendid. Will his victorious streak continue? Strategy wins. Always. You depart victorious, but soon a new challenger may appear. I know things are pretty tough right now, but think about the old days. Remember that scrape on Dathomir, Kashyyyk? That was a close call, and now it's even more dangerous. I wonder what it'll be like on the other side of all this, you know? Assuming we live through it. Hey, I was thinking, now that Marin's back in the crew, we could always head to Coruscant. Not that I want to. Thanks for keeping an eye out while we go after Z. If the Raiders return, we will make them regret it. I reckon we're gonna get along just fine. I think so. Go, Cal. Z needs you. Do you know about the Bile Maw lurking in the mountain? Can't say I do. May seem peaceful, but when disturbed, it will charge and trample you. Its thick hide makes it resistant to even the strongest weapons. How would you approach it? Mind your feet. Its spray attack will leave pools of acid on the ground. Good to know. Thanks. Private table. All right, then. Whoa, whoa, down, Grok. Sorry about my friend here. He's just a little guarded. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> Name's Dana. The old geezer's called Grok. I'm Kel. This is BD. Say, uh, you looking for work? Grok and I have a talent for turning opportunity into profit. Oh yeah, took real talent to drop that Durastil brace on me. <laughs> uh, Grok's a little steamed because he choked on our last job in Dredger Gorge. Choked? Cal, the woman almost got me killed. Practically wrote my damn epitaph. Oh, is it time for your nap, grumpy old Grok? Hmm? Is it? 
I'm gonna head out. <laughs> Lunatic. Crosspatch? Hey, we're thinking of plugging fresh energy cores into the dams at Dredger Gorge. See if we can get them working again. Not a bad idea. Where'd you learn to do that? Old friend of ours. Top-notch engineer. Had a winning smile, too. That he did. Good friend to have around. You'd think. But the guy shorted us on our cut after a big take. So, Grok may have left an anonymous tip with the authorities. <laughs> yeah. Just how you treat all your friends? Don't you mind, Cal. Real friends like you got nothing to worry about. <laughs> yeah. What? Hey, Cal. Got some info that might be useful to you. Hope you're able to get Z back. That old research droid really livens things up around here. Hey, Monk. You look tired. Take a load off. Listen, I... I'm sorry that... Don't start. Fine. It's Sit good to see you. I will. Good. All right. Heard you and Boat are gonna take the fight to the Raiders. Word travels fast around here. A daring assault on the Raider Fortress by the mighty warrior and his gunslinging sidekick to save their droid companion. Yes! Z is lucky to have a friend like you. Hiya. It seems the Raiders haven't forgotten Turgle's little trick. Shame that Z's the one footing the bill. We'll see about that. Oh, don't tell me you plan on rescuing her. Okay. I won't tell you. See you around, Cal. Hey, Two Locked. From the eye of the storm into the belly of the beast, you must go. Yeah, I know. What ails you, Sojourner? Just wondering how things would have been different if I could have stopped them from taking Z. Do your powers also include omniscience? No, but... Seek only where you wish to go, not where you long to have been. Regret is a mirage that leads many off the path. I must be alone now. Listen, now that we're partners... Partners, huh? Business associates, best buds, call us whatever you will. Point is, our relationship is an investment. And we've got bigger fish to fry than these Raider Hex. I'll get to those bounties. But if my friends are in trouble, they take priority. You're gonna get killed with that attitude, Cal. But on a certain level, I can respect it. I think I'll browse a little. You know you're gonna buy it, so just buy it. How about a toast, Tulart? Say, here's hoping we stay spineless and avoid sudden moves so those raiders don't blast us. Ah, yes. A toast. So This'll be useful. Walk over the park. Begged to perfection in one or a dozen crispy crunches. Hey, Cal. Let's talk another time. Mine's racing with ideas right now. Some prospectors told me about a strange building. Distinctive entrance, so they say. Could be one of those meditation chambers. Yes, I was thinking the same. Let me know if you find anything, will you? No problem, Toa. Some other time, okay?
we're getting quite the green thumb, huh, BD? I see you found new seeds. Plant one, and I'll tell you all about it. A Kobo Spiker. The name says it all. Protection from predators and quite effective. The flower is most intricate and beautiful, but its spines are so sharp that it is best observed from afar. <laughs> a bluebell squish, how fascinating. Its flower has a most unusual scent, drawn from the moss as it blooms. I find it quite pleasant. That fire pineapple will bloom, I am sure of it. Cut past the roots, and the fruit beneath is quite delicious, if you can endure its pungency. We can talk later. See if Doma's interested in this. Look at Toa. Always researching her next project. I got a research topic for you. Find a way to leave the planet. A lot of changes coming around lately. I bet you two have seen it all in your time. We've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly. But mostly the ugly. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the ugliest you've seen? Boy, this place is a magnet for trouble. Raiders, prospectors, liars. And you can always find them all inside the saloon. That's why we're just fine staying out here. It's not that ugly in there. Even the ugly can get uglier. Just look at Grease. <laughs> Finally, those pesky Jawas have stopped poking around my claim. I saw some Jawas in the forest. <laughs> well, you ain't seeing them no more. They made themselves a little village on the far side of the valley. No one's heard a peep from them since. Not one Utini. Maybe I'll see how they're doing. Really? Yeah. Aren't you, Mr. Goody Goody?
Nice to see you. <clears throat> Can I confide something, Cal? Sure. Now, it ain't easy for me to admit, but... I'm a big fan of Ash's music. Cannot get it out of my head. It's catchy. You've got great taste. Why is that hard for you to admit? Well, I don't know. I got a reputation, I suppose, for being tough, alert, ready to do what needs to be done. But, wouldn't you know it, deep down I was just born to dance, Cal. Found myself humming a tune the other day, and, well, customer thought I was out of my mind. Could be great for you. You stay safe. More priorite. Wonder what this will fetch at Dumma's shop. See if Doma's interested in this. here first thing is paid a visit to domodendra you hear that oh no Run! go <laughs> let's go Let's take this to Doma's.
Isn't it a little dark down there for fishing? A true fisher doesn't rely on the sun to do the seeing. A true fisher fishes with the mate. Sink your eyes on this. Does it always travel north? Well, it, uh, you see, north, it's a, it's a, it's a relative uh, to find a bump into it on my way down. But a true fisher knows that a pocket full of luck is more important than some cod migration pattern. Now for a story, if you've the time. Uh, where did we end? Ah, yes. The monstrous Captain Wet, his crew and myself, fled aboard the pirate schooner of the filthy Zephyrs. Well, fast as the morning thaw, I could tell something was off. Wanyak, who would be looking me in the eye? Oh, what a dreadful stench was a brew in his rotten beard. An auger of feet most ill. Wanyak took the helm, and with landing claws away, we flew to deep space, putting a few lifetimes between us and those pirates. We found ourselves a field of the Parlemian tree root. As soon as the captain took his hand off the yoke, he put it on his harpoon and gave me a look like a half-starved tuca-cut iron sprat. Scurva, snarled the vile captain. You have gone as soft as an oyster's navel. If I could have trust you to spare a quarrel with their blaster in your mouth, I could have trust you to skewer the great goober fish. I am a hesitance to pull the trigger had me undone. In spite of my most rabid pleas, the captain jettisoned wee Scrooge in an escape pod. The last thing I saw was his dread smile, crooked like a beeman's backbone. And so, my time aboard the Grapnel met a briny end. Sitting alone in a pod, in deep space, with nothing but a tank of old cod and gash. I'll tell you more later, lad. The despair. Oh, the stench. It's enough to set my stomach a charm to this very day. is with me. Funny business, just put the scrap down and your hands up. This area is under the control of the Bedlam Raiders. 
Funny folk, ain't you? This is a lot of pretty interesting tech you have here. Why, if I weren't holding you up, I'd probably be buying. Wow! We are not here to engage in commerce. Always keeping me on the straight and narrow, huh? There's a good droid. Best do as they say. Let's not make this any messier than it needs be. You're not supposed to be... More priorite. Wonder what this will fetch a dumb shop. Oh, hey, I appreciate it. Oh, no, baby. Raiders. They're trying to destroy the camp. When is this over? Let's fight together. Afraid not. Oh, you'll pay. Time is up. Oh, resist me. You will know pain. You're not a threat. Have it. We must die. Lowering this system. What? That fight with me. Another yeah. victory. Over here, BD. Check it out, BD. Prior right. Whole villages can live in one of these crawlers. Traveling across planets as a single unit. This one doesn't look like it's moved in a while. Are you all okay? Not sure what that means, but you all look safe. If you need any supplies, you should stop by the Ramblers Reach Outpost. Ah, yeah. See you around. Jawas seem pleased, huh? Maybe they're happy they have somewhere to do business. Breeze is gonna love this. Thank you.
Off we go. Okay, let's go. I'm sure Z can decrypt this for us. What are you fishing for? I'm hunting the ferocious me. Uh, did you know the me was the very first fish we scuba caught? That must have been quite a day. Aye, that was barely yee high back then. Little scuba swam headlong into the creature's mouth. It caught you. Hey, it takes me back. <laughs> Stick around, boy, and I'll top us off with a tail. So, Scuba, back to your story. Were you actually marooned in deep space by Captain Wet? Hey, lad. There I sat, tummy a rumble, gazing out at the void, my somber reflection staring back from the portal. Was it hours? Years? Uh, neither would faze me. But I do recall this. After a term most interminable, there she was. Like a, a bowsprit cutting through a crest. A great space whale, still sporting the grapnel's imprint on her side, emerged from a parted void. Aye, even now it brings the salt to my eyes. Her great blubbery undulations tossed me pod through the stars like a goose-winged skiff. The stars swelled about like a hundred thousand fishes, until suddenly I saw a planet below. There my pod crashed, and there I was rescued by kindly locals. I had been saved by this marvelous creature from the depth of space. I tried searching for her. Alas, to no avail. She eluded me for years before I packed my satchel 
and headed home for Sakari Tan. Most didn't believe what I'd seen. They say she was not but the terminal spasm of a starving salt's brain. But I know what I saw, lad. I know what I saw. Of course, when I returned home, things were not as I remembered them. But that'd be a tale for another time. New seeds. That Peely will have something to say about this. Solo recommended we check this chamber out. Welcome, Jedi. Our problems are often matters of perspective. By shifting our position, so too moves our thinking. And thus, by reframing it, a problem may not seem so vexing after all. <laughs> Sounds familiar. I heard Dagon boarded the first transport out. Nonsense. He would never. Wherever he is, we need him. This is not good. This planet is so different to Coruscant. I find its quiet almost deafening by comparison. And yet, there's a unique peace to it. Can decrypt this for us.
Sector... Wait, what's that? Looks like it's from the clone... It's incoming! Shard. Let's trade it at Doma's shop. Got something, buddy? Hmm. Not much to look at. would want to see these seeds in the garden, but she knows something too. Thanks, buddy. Place is crawling with Imperials. Just gotta keep climbing. Help!
The Empire's really cracking down around here. How long before they set their sights on the outpost? Visibility's pretty bad. Gotta push through. Is that an Imperial shuttle? I don't know why they were flying in such poor conditions. Wanna check it out? been thriving here once. Now it's a ghost town. Keep your sensors running, BD. I don't trust this place. Oh, now there's an unusual sight. You with the raiders? Raiders? No, no. We're no foe to you, nor friend to them. What's up ahead? Mist and more mist and all manner of danger prowling within. Watch your feet, unless the mountain have them for its own. We'll keep that in mind. <laughs> See if Doma's interested in this. Something was off. I need some help. Security, huh? Wonder who was trying to keep things hidden.
prospectors move out and the beasts move in. Hard place to call home. A shard. Let's trade it at Doma's shop. Ely would enjoy these in the garden. Seems we gotta climb the rest of the way. <laughs> Safer than going on foot. big force sent to secure a shuttle. Must be something inside. but
Some kind of electro dart? Next time, maybe run a scan before you start firing. I can do this. No. I have to. <laughs> A new gadget's pretty useful, huh? Prior right. Wonder what this will fetch a dumbest shop.
Nice job, BD. Launch it. Pretty sneaky. Hang up there, be aware. All magnetic seas are engaged. Remaining flight is accounted for. Cooper, you're late. What'd you find, buddy? I just returned from patrol. Why did your patrol take so long? Bramlicks. Bramlicks? <laughs> Local wildlife. Orbs with spikes. Let me get this straight. You were held up by a rolling ball with spikes? There was also the fog. I don't have time for this. Report your blaster for inspection. <sighs> Fine. Confirm. We are under attack. I see him, BD. Keep your eyes open. Thank <laughs> you. 
increasing. After the enemy. I believe the Not successful. That's the last of them. Stim here, baby. Hold it right there. I won't let you through. I saw what you did to the others, Jedi scum. But you won't do it to me. Even your sorcery can't get through 15 centimeters of Imperial manufactured transparent steel. Right? Structural readouts indicate that we are perfectly secure, sir. Oh, good. You should open the door. I... I should... What? There's nothing to see here. Your eyes must be playing tricks on you. There's... nothing to see here. My eyes must be playing tricks on me. Quite so, sir. That's enough. Get back on the comms. Yes, sir. <laughs> Weak minds don't stop them from conquering the galaxy. Hit it. Need to slice this. Okay, this is high. Long way down, huh? Hell of a view, though. Fire away. Oh, what a view. You'd have liked it, Shanna. Look at this. BD-1, over here.
Garden's nice and lush these days, huh, BD? We've expanded into our final plot. But let's chat. I can still assist in other gardening matters. Garden can use some of the new seeds I found. And we have a new type of plant. I wonder if Peely has something to say about it. What do you think, BD? Here? When plants grow, you grow. Let's plant this here. Grow safe here. And you go over here. This place is looking great. Wonderful. New seeds. Plant one. I'll share its details. The garden is fully expanded. Well done, Cal. This, of course, comes with benefits. There should now be more than enough goodness in the soil to boost the plant's growth. And, if you prefer, you could put plants in stasis at the size of your choosing. A pine fern. Delightful. Its foliage shifts colors with the temperament. Quite dazzling. I wonder what color it will display on Kobo. Just you wait for that golden light moss to grow. Observe the roots that rise up underneath, helping the flowers to reach nearby light sources. Oh, hello. all these chumps. Go find a new challenger. Don't worry, friend. I'm certain there are more opponents just waiting out there. Breeze, you should know. When my old crew worked from the Mantis, we made a few changes. Oh, you mean how the left side of the cabin couch completely has lost its bounce? Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> Come on, the seat's got no give. Cushion just limps there, like a dead Neko. And that's from Liz. To psych herself up for a mission, she'd bounce on the couch as hard as she could. Now every time I sit on that broken cushion, it feels like Liz is still there. Well, I was planning to replace those cushions, but maybe that can wait. Let's talk in a bit, yeah? How do you like Pyloons? It is like an oasis. A dirty oasis. Tell Grease I said that and you will regret it, Droid. This reminds me of old times. Biomalls like that one you took out are trouble. They'll turn a room into a patio if you're not careful. I believe it. Reminds me of a pest I tangled a few years back. 
Nothing could get through its skin, neither. Here's the kicker, though. This creature had tentacles, too. Ooh, don't remember the name of it, but it was mean. I wasn't having all kinds of trouble until I remembered something my mama used to say. If your weapon can't fell a beast, make the beast your weapon. So, I drop my spear, grab one of the beast's tentacles, and coil it around his throat until it was over. Smart. That's what your enemies do, ain't it? Turn your strengths into liabilities. That biomass no longer a threat. Well done. Can't say I'm surprised. You and Beatty are tough customers. So how'd you two meet anyway? I all started with this Merc crew I joined. Croc had been recruited a few months earlier. On account of my good looks. That's right. Mm, and me on account of being the smoothest thing since Hut Blubber. Anyways, things were good until our outfit tried to pull one over on the Empire. So we... We took off and started our own thing. The rest of the outfit ended up dead or in prison. What the car, Croc? I was telling it. Kid doesn't need our whole life story. Uh-uh. Point is, Grok and I realize that we're better off just the two of us. We know the feeling. Come back later, yeah? Hey, Dana. Grok. Welcome back. Great to see you in one piece. Let's drink to- oh, Quit wobbling your jaw. Sorry, Cal. Grok's in a mood. Oh, I'm in a mood, all right. Job not go as you planned? It went fine. We made off with a big stinking drive core. Yeah. After Dana dropped a half-ton Durasteel brace on Ugh, me. Ugh. It was involuntary. That shiver peed meant business. You just choked under pressure. Choked? Cal, the woman almost got me killed. Practically wrote my damn epitaph. Aw. Is it time for your nap, grumpy old Brock? <laughs> Lunatic. Cross patch. See you when I see you. Can't hurt to take a look, right? That's it. Fine. Hey, how come you never charge me for our chats? You make everyone else pay for your wisdom. Ha! If wisdom could be obtained with credits, all would possess it. Every fortune has a price. But a conversation between friends is priceless. That is why I do not charge you, Sojourner. Thanks, Too Locked. Such a nerd. Another time. A bit busy. Cal, while you're here, could I run something by you? Sure. What have you got? I, I heard some dredge operators discussing a strange structure in the swamp. Almost certainly another High Republic chamber. But I don't like my chances of conducting successful research on the raider's doorstep. Maybe I could check it out for you. Oh, that'd be wonderful. There aren't any Zabrak hanging out in the outpost, right? Not that I've seen. Oh, thank goodness. Thought I was gonna have to book it for a second there. Are there people out to hurt you? Only always. But I owe these Zabrak quite a few credits for a... An incident I was involved in. You get into a lot of trouble, don't you? The less you know, the better. Trust me. I can always run and start a new life. No, Turgle. Not again.
Thanks for the help. There it is. Got your mark, I'm coming in. You made it. Anyone spot you? Me? <laughs> Not a chance. What are we dealing with? Any sign of the droid? Some kind of service gantry. Could be a way in. It's the best option I can see. Only way to the Lucre Hulk is through this swamp. For you, maybe. You want to ride, BD? <laughs> when you're ready, make a move on that gantry. I'll be watching. Copy that. That's one way not to get mud on your boots, huh? Now we just need to rescue Z. Hard to believe anything could live in this swamp. I guess our friend here makes it work. See that building, buddy? Guess someone does live here. Or did once. We got some seeds. Wonder if they'll grow in our garden. How much do you think this is worth? Nothing's worth crossing the raiders. Now move. Dangerous spot to catch a fish. Nay, nee. dangerous fish to catch a spot. Sure. Aye, that one swept the line, but sarcasm is weak bait. Besides, I've gathered my focus for my quarry to fell some glotsam crab. One of my old crew, a mate on the grapnel, once tried to pluck a crab from the sea foam when suddenly, wham, overboard she went. Manan. 
but it does make the season a soul easier to brook. No? Stay a moment, and I'll regale you with the next chapter of me tale. So, after years of searching for the great whale, I returned home to the frozen shores of Sakavi Tan, where my tale began. And this world on which I was weaned and warmed seemed but a moon to me careworn eyes. So small. I foot slogged my way back to Undun's cave, but I found it empty, and somehow colder than I remembered. You know what? Sometimes the truth brings peace, and sometimes it brings sadness. The fish is nay always what you thought it'd be when it bit the line. I dragged myself out of that cave and back to my village. And what I discovered next sent a spar through me thrice-pickled belly. All me kith and kin, old and barren, ravaged by famine and cold, for none other than Captain Wanyak Wet had been fishing in their waters, swearing what few fish remained and taking them off world. And so it was that I found myself once again in search of the dread captain and his crew. Not just for my own justice, but to liberate my very home. When we next speak, I'll tell you what became of my crusade. Value. Let's check this place out. Cal, what are you doing out here? I could ask you the same question, Zig. I came out here to look for Z. Yeah, me too. Ahem, and I am Winnie Eres. Cal, was it? We've only just met, but I could use some assistance. What do you need? I was told there's a bird in this swamp that spots a resplendent plumage. But when I tried to get a closer look at one, it snatched my datapad and flew away. Where'd it go? They've got a nest at the top of a spire nearby. I'd go, but Winnie here says I gotta stay by her side. Yes! Yes, that spire there. It's so close, yet so far. I'll see what I can do. You shine like these stars. Oh, <laughs> that's a Coruscant saying. Perhaps a more simple. Thank you, girl. I can't move that, but there's no other way up to the pillar either. Ever been in a ship this big before, buddy? Been a long time for me. I'm oh, looking forward to it. It's easy in there. We're not leaving without her.
There you are. Ready to liberate one slightly eccentric High Republic droid? Yeah. You? Well, I'm here, aren't I? Patrolling. Roger, Roger. I'll go high. Watch out! I'll catch you! I'm with you, Cal. Such a warm welcome. I guess knocking isn't an option. We'll find our own way. Guess the platform isn't here. Think you can break that coupling? Let's find out. When in doubt. Decided to come after all. Yeah, she thinks Tantalor could really help the path. All right. But well, you do seem happier now that she's around. <laughs> okay, let's focus. C needs us. This piece of junk could sink any second. Nah, she'll hold. Just wait till you see what's inside. a freighter on the nav once. Yeah? Any tips? No. It was nothing like a Luker Hulk. Not sure. Could you clear this up? Absolutely. Four, five, nine. Power strike! 
damage within acceptable parameters. Begin firing! Were those droids arguing? It happens more than you'd think. <laughs> no wonder they lost. Come on, let's go. I'll make sure the coast is clear. Miss me, BD? Let's stop here. All set, BD? Let's stop. Too easy. Uh, it's always worth a shot. Stay alert. If anyone comes this way, kill them. Roger, roger. Will be Enemies close. Protect me. Get that droid back. There you are. Not happening. Keep going up, yeah? Somehow? There. Never doubt. Keep going. I'll scout around. Make sure there are no surprises. Be careful. Scaling a beaten up warship, just like the old days. Unauthorized. 
Authorized personnel spotted. <laughs> Reports of hostiles in the area. We're under attack here. Ready for battle. Keep this area locked down. Whatever Ravis is up to, it's drawn some unwanted attention. Any other day, stealing from those slow-minded prospectors would mean a thing. But now, they got some muscle. I can hear them buzzing around. Oh, that sounds bad. Ah, stay alert. Weapons hot. We're the Bedlam Raiders. Nobody invades our base and gets away with it. Approach it. What did they do to you? Ship knows we're here now, huh? Locked for long. Cap, get it! Systems damage. Good to see you in one piece. Valuable. Why don't I hang on to that for you? Nice try. Good catch.
Enemy's close. I got your back, Cal. Happy that Marin joined the crew? Yeah. Glad she wants to help us find Tantal. Wait, do you hear that? Destroyer droids. Perfect. I fought Droidica was with my master during the Clone Wars. I froze. He had to take them out. Look at you now. Bet he'd be proud. Hope so. She didn't just join to find Tantalor, right? Don't know what you're talking about. Whatever you say, Cal. Good work, PD. Okay, let's see what we have here. A turbo lift. Is that who I think it is inside? Let me get a closer look. Yeah, and Z. Where does it go? Control tower. Then that's our target. I see a problem. Down there. Droids. We've seen worse. Check out those AATs. I've got a plan. So I figure I make some noise, draw them away, you slip by. Regroup at the turbo lift. What do you think? It's risky. We passed risky a while back. Good luck. You too. Ship won't fly, but there's a hangar full of craft. An army, all ours. Ready to scour this planet for my lost master. When it's time, I'll signal. What signal? Just trust me, you won't miss it. What is it? No way I haven't recorded in. No side of it. me out.
will serve a new master. Test my work. Droid. Killed her. Roger, roger. Need it anymore. Couldn't find a way to the turbo lift. Well, let's look for one together. We need to use this. this out. Could you wire it up? I've got an idea. Okay. Now what? <laughs> Not bad. What are these buildings? The technical term is yurts. Living quarters. Saw them on Merrick 9. You've never seen so many dudes. Living quarters. We're in deep now. Some hostiles. What have we here? <laughs> This 
have gotten pretty cozy here. only wants the intact ones. Hold on. Give me that. Nice. Nice. another shard. We'll need some living space. Homes. Homes? Sure. You never been to Marek 9? Spotted some hostiles. Time to get after it. You got me. I live for this. Should have crossed us. <laughs> Where 
more priorite. Wonder what this will fetch at Dumma's shop. Can you get that down? Consider it done. No time to let up, Cal. I don't think they like us. I think those other compasses went missing. My credits are on Santare Cree. No kidding. If she sends Z to that back to tank, maybe there's more to this story. So we rescue Z, get out of here, find Tantalor, and then what? I'm just taking it day by day. Maybe figure something out with Mary? Uh, she's got her path, I've got mine. Yeah, I've heard Jedi avoid attachment, but... That's right. So don't forget who you really are. What's that supposed to mean? It means trust your heart. Things are only getting worse out there. Life is precious. And so is happiness. I wish it were that simple. It is that simple. If you see a future with Marin, embrace it. I don't understand. I, I can't just... Boat. Hey! 
Hey, clankers, over here. A little further, perfect. <clears throat> Thanks. I'll look for another way around. You find that droid. And stay alive. This isn't very inviting. I don't think anyone's been back here in a while, buddy. The droids from the forest ray. Okay, not that way then. Dagon's gonna destroy Z to get what he wants. He's obsessed. We shouldn't have left her at the outpost. We have to get her back. Clever. Sometimes the solution to a problem lies in how it's framed. Always consider the situation from multiple angles. Always giving me a new perspective, eh, Seer? I'm good, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. We need the tuner back. Gives them access to everything Kree locked down. Nice job.
mess. Leaking pipes, exposed wires, a recipe for disaster. Maintenance path should get us topside, I think. See if Doma's interested in this. Just there. Sorry, old droid, but I promise you're gonna live on. This is a nice one.
this is how everything is still operational. locked. He's okay, but for now we have to go it alone. Maybe we can get to that turbo lift now.
Found another shard. Let's take this to Domas. So 
Centauri, your work is unparalleled. But sending a droid instead of facing me yourself, such cowardice. A small price to pay for her sparing your life. Tell me, did the Jedi's death satisfy you? He escaped. All those years of incarceration dull your edge. Sharp enough to see the Jedi might be your equal. Say it again and I'll cut out your tongue. It'll grow back. <laughs> Dagon, listen. The Jedi is a threat. Not now that we have this. I already duplicated the device's frequencies. We can now access any site she sealed. Well done, Ravis. You, activate the forest array. Go to the Shattered Moon. I know where Centauri hid the last compass. Dagon. After you have it, I will consider my oath to you fulfilled. What then, old friend? The galaxy has changed. There are many wars, but little honor to be won from them. Once we are on Tantalor, perhaps we can dream up a new war. You and I. <laughs> perhaps. Before I go, do you want me to scrap the droid? No. Centauri must have purged the droid's memory bank. Has no knowledge of the compass. I will tear it down to the bolts and reprogram it to serve me as it once served her.
we can trade this at Doma's shop. Z's close. Dagon could be anywhere. Ready, BD? If you're ready, I'm ready. What's that? Escape pods. Might come in handy. to it. survived Ravis. How? The usual. You murdered your fellow Jedi. I struck down those who stood against me. Leave us or share their fate. Even if you believe the Council betrayed you, they were still your family. How arrogant that you would presume to know what drives me? What I can see is your obsession with Tantalor has blinded you. 
Whatever happened, you can't change the past. Trust me on that one. Perhaps you're right. The past is a chain. I must sever it completely. <laughs> down anyone who stands in my way. Really? Once more. How dare you? <laughs> You're slipping. to breath. So, this is the guy you told me about. Yeah. He's as friendly as ever. You've delayed me long enough. Getting away that easy. Thanks. Two warriors at the height of their powers bound in brotherhood. This is the stuff of legends. Z. I got her. Meet you up there. Come on, Z. Let's keep moving. Perhaps that's wise. 
Gary is positively mad. He kept going on and on about some compass. Your master created them to navigate the abyss. This is the first I'm hearing about it. She purged that knowledge from your memory. That would explain it. Well, Dagon is certain that she left a compass for him to find. Let's hope so. Dagon sent Ravis to check out another array on the moon. Maybe we'll find it there. Back to the moon. Great. Oh, Master Kree, why did you send me to free that traitor? People are complicated. Maybe she thought the Order got it wrong. If only we could ask her. Please let us leave this dreadful place. Safest way out of here. Sure about that? <gasps> no. Okay then. You seem nervous. I'm going with him. Up aboard, Z. See you at the outpost. Yep, I'm coming. I mean, to never do that again. Dagon must have sent Ravis to get the compass. Maybe the forest array powers something on the moon. Uh, it's a guess. But if Ravis is on his way there, that's where we need to be, too. Nice find. Let's take this back to Z. Please. That data pack contains all my designs, not to mention my reference data bank. Without it, I'll be starting all over from scratch. I mean, even more than I already am. Good luck finding that data pad, Cal. Be safe. Those gliders perch in high places. <laughs> Better catch up. So you truly live on Looks like a data pad to me. Or what's left of one. Come on, let's go break the news.
Let's move, BD. Let's chat later. Bad news, Winnie. Data pad was busted beyond repair. Oh, my designs. They're lost forever. Sorry, Winnie. I'll try to scrounge something up for you back at the outpost. Thank you again. Don't mention it. We'll see you back at the cantina, perhaps. After this ordeal, <laughs> I know I could use a refreshment. Monk makes him strong. Hmm. Is this a monastic planet? This must be the structure of Toad Hold is about. Welcome, Jedi. To be still is to be calm. To allow for wisdom to spring forth. Yet the galaxy is seldom static. Motion, however, can provide clarity. Let truth flow like a river and carve new channels around any obstacle. Never thought I'd feel this. What is it? Missing Coruscant. The temple. My cramped room. I know how you feel. I bet Z can get the data off this disk.
cannot defy the council. Dagon Gara feels he must do what is right. Master Rancisus won't allow it. Truth flows like a river? What does that mean? If I don't figure this out, I'll never become a Jedi Knight. this training and for what a long shot for a planet that might not even exist Hey, little guy. Stop them! Fight for 
Heads up, BD. You got any priorite on you? Can't say I do. Uh, then you're nothing. Me? I got a lift. Worked all day for it. Can I see it? Okay, I lied. I'm fresh out. I'm a failure. Nice scuba. I told the felt new to Greens, laddie. I'll have to master all my seaward charms if I'm to lure it into my grasp. Seems it liked you. Sounds fair to me. Now, shall we continue my tale? Aye, our story nears its end. I discovered that Captain Whit was plundering my very home seas for exotic fish. And in the process, starving the old tars who raised me from a wee yoke. I spent many months in search of them. At long last, I discovered them on the salted shores of the third moon of Antine. A hide to Antine, and truck me full to the Garakas Trench. A fissure sliced clean through the moon's heart. There, amongst the brain and black, I found him. One yak wit and his vile crew, surrounded by glumbering eels, spearing them with their harpoons. Captain, I cried, you've broken your promise never to harvest the seas of Sakavi Tar. And I said, your command be forfeit if you dare forswear my home waters. Oh, I'll scarce forget the snarl he issued as he turned to me, slow as a frozen reef, regarding me after years of thinking me dead. This, he growled, is why you didn't toss the fish back into the sea. Before I could shake my flippers, the barb of his harpoon spun through the deep and its hook pierced me in the chest. My juices filled the water, and as the vision grew dark, I espied Wadjik, smiling sharp as a fang. That's horrible, Scuva. I told you, lad, that mine be a dark tale. I'll tell you more when next we meet.
Get to it. together. Got here. I'm going to tell you. Oh, an air of confidence, perhaps. Or 
Hiding behind that door? Hiding? No, no, just observing. That's what I do. Watch and wait. What for? For wanderers like you. To make sure you come to no harm, of course. And to tell you that there could be treasure right beneath your very nose. <laughs> Still here? What? Don't you trust me? Why should we? You're wasting time distrusting me when there's who even knows what right here for the taking. It's as if you don't want the treasure, frankly. Another bounty puck. We should show this to Cage. Jimmy, huh? Like to see her try to... What the? No! Oh! Damn it, Dana! You trying to make a traitor out of my blasted head?
Not a bad find. Come on, buddy. Welcome, welcome. Make yourself at home. So what happened to your smuggling operation? The Galactic Empire. Not long after the end of the Clone Wars, the Empire cracked down on my shipping operation. They ruined everything. Many of my associates saw the relative safety of the Huts, good riddance. Most of them were snakes, anyway. But some of them... I... Lost people I didn't expect to lose. I'm sorry, Moran. That's rough. No, I'm sorry. I seem to have forgotten asking for your pity. All right, then. Cal, I've been meaning to, uh... Well, I was a little curt when last we spoke about how my shipping operation was shut down. Don't worry. I've heard worse. I really did lose everything, you know. And everyone. That's what brought me to Koba with what few wares I had left. Monk lets me keep my things in the back room. Go on, see if anything suits your fancy. Not like anyone here has credits to spend. Anyhow, I shouldn't take my troubles out on you. Thanks, Moran. See you around, Cal. Enjoy the beats, Cal. And this search Seems like you and Doma have some history. That's right. She took me in, showed me around, hid me, because I was on the run, Cal. On the run, huh? What'd you do? The heist of the century. Every... What you're suggesting. Well... And the... 
horse its birthright. Is this stone do its form? Oh, I thought you had You're on a your roll, answers. Cal. Got another kit for ya. What you got? A bounty droid named Mesh has been babbling on the brood comms about that lab on the shattered moon. Go shut him up, will ya? They're a disgrace to the profession, if you ask me. We'll see about them. Sooner or later. Atta boy. These look interesting. Barkeep. Good to see you, Cal. How about a bit of refreshment for bringing Z back safe and sound? On the house, of course. I'm good, thanks. Why don't you send a drink Bode's way? Wouldn't have been able to save her without his help. All right, but I still owe you one. Heritage coming back safe is the talk of the saloon. Something charming about that old gal, wouldn't you say? See you later, monk. Garakos. They fight to the bitter end, don't they? Especially when they're injured. Yeah, they do. A lot of beasts are like that. I learned the hard way on a family outing once. My first time leading. Tracked a Kivaroa back to its nest. It was killing livestock. No other choice but to put it down. Played the approach perfectly. Found an opening. Uh, but my family was watching, so I decided to get a little bit fancy. Lost my concentration. One of its legs slams down, inches away from cracking my spine. Mama pushed it aside in the nick of time. And finished that Kivaroa no frills. That's a close call. <laughs> yep. Hey, you corner something, it'll do what it needs to survive. Even when you have the upper hand, never underestimate your prey. Talk soon. Well, you know, when you first walked in here, I was getting ready to throw you out. Oh, funny. I remember asking myself, am I gonna be the guy who gives this Letero his second prosthetic arm? Oh, yeah, you go ahead and try. <laughs> but seriously, you've done good by us, watching out for that kid. It's like you're... <clears throat> Excuse me. Those tears in your eyes, Grease? No, no, they're not tears. What, are you kidding me? No. Probably smoke or something. Someone smoking in here? No smoking! I got it, Grease. Right back at you. And if you ever want to get that arm modded, I know a guy. You got an arm guy? Oh, yeah. Ah, let me think about it. Cal, there you are. Both told me everything. Both pistols blazing. A real crack shot straight out of the hull of it. Easy, Captain. I'm just trying to debrief. Debrief? Ooh, you hear that? This guy's a pro. How come we never debrief, Cal? Simmer down. You enjoying the spotlight, Bode? Hmm. Like an Imperial cavity search. But I've got to admit, it's great to see everyone excited. Pylones is drawing a crowd. Yeah, it could be words out that I'm the best cook this side of the Hidian Way. Oh, what do you know, BD? You've got no taste buds. Watch yourself out there. It true, then? Nick that droid back from the Raiders, did you? Uh, I don't think we met. Oh, <laughs> lass. Sorry about that. Came at you like a rocker, I did. Call me Ha. Been here longer than any of these greenhorns. Septoma. And Gulu, and Guido, and old Tall, of course, but uh, she's uh, blast. There I go again. Uh, Cal, is it? Right. This is BD. Damn fine to meet you two. Damn fine. Oi, Cal, good to see you. Lobby, look at this. The tank is a bustle. A veritable city colony. Think there's room for more? To my eye, I fear we may be reaching capacity. Too many more, and old Scoover won't be able to wet his flippers without slapping the fishy. I'll see you out in the wide world, laddie. The hunt continues. 
I might have located another meditation chamber, Cal. Where? Inside the valley silo. No one's been inside for some time, but there are rumors. I cannot believe what almost happened to Z. Things worked out okay in the end. Thank the stars that you could help her. Back in school, one of the archival droids was destroyed in a power surge. At the time, all I could think about was how much it screwed up my hollow prints. How blind I was. Don't beat yourself up. We're all figuring things out day by day. Hey. How you feeling, Z? Much improved, Cal. Now that I am far from that ghostly ship. It's seen better days, that's for sure. The same could be said for the entire galaxy, could it not? But it is heartening to see that some bright spots yet remain. That's why we keep fighting. Indeed. I must say, I see vestiges of the Order, my Order, in you and your companions. It is most heartening. Sometimes you know just what to say. No time to talk. Care to see what I've found? A strong choice, certainly. This one. Certainly, Cal. I'll take it. A most wise decision. Take care, my friend. So, how are you adjusting to your new life? Well, all things considered, this cantina and its denizens have been quite welcoming. Really? You returned in one piece. You sound surprised. You do have a knack for getting into trouble. Yeah. But Boat has an act for keeping me on the right side of blaster fire. A useful quality in a friend. Be careful. Good to see you made it back. How's Pyloons treating you? It's adorably derelict and entirely unique. If this cantina were on Coruscant, you could quadruple the prices and still have lines out the door. Any luck with the data pad? Ask Dorma. She's working on it. Thanks again for your help, Cal. Don't mention it. Uh, let's chat later. He returns. Ready for a game? Our reigning victor departs. But who may yet arrive? It took some time, but the garden's complete. A new specimen? Fascinating! Finish planting it, and I'll tell you what I know. I see you planted a spine fluff. They are quite adorable, but beware. Nested amongst those plumes are some claw-sharp needles. You found a jelly spire, I see. It may look flimsy, but they have a strong, fibrous core keeping them steady. You clearly have a talent for this, Cal. Thanks. Breeze taught me a little. How long have you been gardening? Since I was a child. I've always enjoyed the company of plants. In my adolescence, I joined a well-respected nursery. My work became a passion, and I soon stumbled upon an innovation. What was it? Hybridizing diverse genotypical specimens with novel macrocosmetic environments. A mouthful, yes. I mean that... I developed a talent for growing new plants in new places. Well, these specimens are lucky to have you here. That's what they tell me. We can talk later.
Let's check it out. Hey, you heard about the local who won't come out of his house. You'll have to be more specific. He's a strange one. That place is a fortress. He never talks to anyone. That sounds pretty good to me. What do you want me to do about it? I don't know. Just thought we'd mention it. In case you wanted to drop in. Maybe I will. this good choice practically had your name on it you know what I like about you Cal you're not always bugging me to step in and help you solve disputes and whatnot I like to try to handle my own problems guessing that's the same with you that's right a while back this one prospector got into an argument with his protocol droid got so worked up he got violent so, I stepped in, told the prospector if he laid another hand on his droid, I would ban him from my shop and cut his credit with every vendor in town. So, that shut him up pretty quick. Since then, well, I've been the closest thing to a mayor this town has. I wouldn't want to mess with you. That's another thing I like about you, Cal. Smart enough to know trouble when you see it. Ah, you got a keen eye for good product. That right. Yep. But, you know, the product, that's only part of the sale. You're also buying what's behind it. What do you mean? Well, every item has a story. One that carries from owner to owner. The history persists, embedded inside every object. You can find it in a chip cup or Greasy handprint on a towel, even. They all remind you that someone was here once. Yeah, I see what you're saying. 
Grease ever tell you the story of how we met? No, let's hear it. Oh, he first landed. Talking dreams of taking over a canteen, I, I pegged him as just another prior ripe vulture. Someone who comes out of nowhere, turns a credit from a few suckers, and skips town. Of course, when I saw him putting real care into the cantina, well, I knew we were cut from the same cloth. Pyloons is as important to him as the Mantis. That's why he named it after his great-grandma. That's right. You stick with Grease. He's one of the good ones. Just don't tell him I said that. Your secret's safe with me. I bet Z can get the data off this disk. Nice find. Let's take this back to Z. interesting find something who uh, uh, uh. who a stranger in these parts I'm just looking around well away with you nothing for you here have nothing to fear. I have nothing to fear. I'm just a friend dropping by. You're just a friend dropping by. In, in, quickly, you're letting the dust inside. me. You can't stop me. I won't let you! You don't understand. He didn't understand either.
killed his own brother. How long can we survive until help arrives? I do not think help will be arriving at all. We are alone. Got a scan? This always clears my head. Not your typical blaster. Messing with this. Mm -hmm. 
ergonomic and effective. It works, and it looks great. All set. Let's pick where we go next. Shattered moon. <laughs> no sweat. They will be expecting us. Cal and I made it through the Luker hunk, all right? You and I have different definitions of all right. I wonder why Dagon sent Ravis instead of coming here himself. Nice front, Cal. We're coming in. Vulture droids. Looks like Ravis has more Separatist toys than we thought. Doesn't look like they spotted us yet. Think you can land? I don't know. The risky part's gonna be taken off again, and the last thing I want is to be stuck on this haunted rock. You could always build a second cantina. Franchise. Hey, how about you save the jokes for later, Jetpack? I can hide the mantis. Last I checked, this ship isn't equipped with a cloaking device. What is she doing? Here we go. The vultures are right in front of us. Trust her. <laughs> okay, that was impressive. We will drop you off. Good luck with Ravis. And to you. Hey, kid. Hurry back. Jetpack, man the guns. Copy that. Oh, and I might need some of your blood. In case I get tired. <laughs> Don't tell Grease, but he's right about this moon. Creepy. Locking this place down.
Okay, let's go. It's Ravis' ship. He's headed for the tower. Best way up is through the array. Centauri hit the compass in the tower. Only one way to find out. Find something, buddy? facility on the moon. It would save us bringing materials from elsewhere.
again. for you to make Dagon's vision real once more. Persistence reveals the path. Empire, so be it. Huh. 
This is different. Huh? I'm in bad shape, buddy. There is only the force. All right, let's go. Jedi, you are nearly too late. I await you in the control tower. Reach me with you. What's that? perimeter. The Jedi has been sniffing around, and I am letting him through. Give me one good chance. I'll have some fun. You ever fought a Jedi before, son? No. But what does it matter? <laughs> you never seen a lightsaber up close. If you had, maybe you wouldn't be in such a rush to see one again. I am not afraid. Let me at him. Your funeral, son. Your funeral. <laughs> Thing's got your name all over it. Just what we need. We have a containment breach. Get down. we found in the stone spires. Think you can help here? You've got this one, right, Petey? Can I get a stim, Petey? Just what I needed. so far has been successful. Dagon Gera has believed. And he senses something I do not
and see what Kree was up to. Centauri. Dagon, what have you done? What I must. Stop. But you want what I want. Why else would you deceive the Council? You've lost your way. Surrender. And we can figure this out, together. Come with me. It's too late for that. Such despair, Santari. Tanalor. You can feel it slipping away. My despair is for you. Tanalor has changed you. It's changed you as well. Step aside. No. Then I must go it alone. Centauri! Get a medical droid in here! And prepare a back to tank! What'd you find? High Republic tech. Works with my grapple. Could help us climb the tower. She defeated Dagon, but didn't turn him in. Why? Let's give it a try. It works. On to Ravis. Nice find. Let's take this back to Z.
Jedi. Why did you activate the array? It's been many years since I last took the life of a Jedi. Why did you activate the... I heard you. Long ago, Dagon bested me in combat. Earned my loyalty. We fought side by side until the Jedi betrayed him. It took many of your order to defeat me. And yet, they dishonored me. Denied me a warrior's death. And left me to rot in a cage for centuries. So... Seems our destinies are intertwined. The demise of your order allowed me to escape. And yet... Nothing has changed. You're still just Dagon's servant. Time does not diminish my loyalties. Without a code, you can only serve yourself. Where's the compass, Ravis? I owe you nothing! Jedi! If you want that knowledge from me, you're gonna have to fight for it. Very well. Centauri Kree's observatory, as Dagon suspected. I have opened the way. He goes there now. I defeated you. Fight with me. 
We can take on Dagon together. <laughs> I will not, Jedi. After all these centuries, I still dream of Tantalor. I had hoped to see it again, but... Oh, that is not to be. This Dagengera stands in your way. You don't have to do this. Only one of you will reach Tantalor. Jedi, give me my warrior's death. We should go. You there? Cal, I don't know what you did, but those vulture droids are making a hasty exit. The landing pad's clear. I'm gonna bring the manus in now. Copy that. We'll be waiting for you, kid. Maybe Ravis was right. Dagon abandoned the Jedi code. Now look at him, consumed by his obsession with Tantalor. How is that different from what we're doing? Yeah. Don't worry about it. Thanks for having my back. I'm a blaster, better run a little faster. No pie, a little saloon. The location shattered moon. Uh. Hey, look at that, he ain't dead. How you doing, kid? Hell. Whatever you did up there, sure kicked the firebug nest. Ravis is gone. Yeah, that'll do it. So let me guess, back to Kobo? Yeah, I think so. Say, uh, jetpack, give me a hand up here. Yep. I can't make any sense of this place, Cal. Be careful. Not now. I need some time to think. Can't imagine what it must have been like to be here when the moon was destroyed. 
Something about this place I just don't like. Just like you were scared of death, Amir? Oh, now, hold on. That's different. We knew that planet was full of nasties. But this moon, it's the unknown that spooks me, you know? All creaking and abandoned. It's, it's too quiet. You're just superstitious. Oh, yeah? You think so, huh? Well, I was right about the witch planet. It wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad? There were zombies, Cal. Zombies. Give me a minute, huh? I'm planning a new holotactic setup. Let's plot a course. Bound for Kobo. I need to clear my mind. You're brooding. Again. That easy to read my mind? It's no Jedi trick. I just pay attention. <laughs> On the Shattered Moon, I saw Dagon confront Centauri. He was so consumed by Tantalor that he completely lost his way. Reminds me of my fight with the Empire these last few years. Let's just say I don't want to end up like him. You are very stubborn, but ambition does not drive you. I don't understand why she didn't see the change in him before it was too late. They dreamed together. And suffered together. A shared dream is not so easy to wake from. Is that what troubles you? Losing yourself. If you ever stray from your path, we will guide you back. Every plot's filled. Nice work, BD. Peely, what made you stop your research? I lost my lab. Once the Empire occupied my planet, it seized my nursery, uprooting every flower, fern, and sapling. That's horrible. Worse, they repurposed my lab into a biochemical weapons facility. All my research now used as a means for death. I refused to cooperate, escaped on an unlicensed shuttle, and here I am. Oh, you're safe here. I have been told that before. But when you say it, I believe it, Cal. Any family back home, Peely? They did not survive the Imperial occupation. I'm so sorry. I appreciate that. My parents and siblings were soft-spoken, but all of them were defiant. Like you. I suppose. 
Now all I have are my plants. They are defiant in their own way. Vines can rise in the harshest temperatures. Roots penetrate the thickest ferrocrete. That is how we will defeat the Empire. Time, time, time. Is there any plant you can't grow? Hmm. There was a rare subspecies of a Puglia blossom that I found quite stubborn. You still seem frustrated by it. No, of course not. Well, yes. It sticks with me, this one, I suppose. No matter what I did, where I planted it, how I treated the soil, it refused to grow. It was like it was acting out of spite, like a petulant child. Turns out, that subspecies of Puglia blossom only grows in the wild. It only wanted to grow on its own. That's right. You have the mind of a true botanist. Oh, hello. Par, right? You said you're from around here? Been all over, Kobo. But I knew I had to foot slog it back to the Reach when I heard the stories. They say it's been a right barnyard since you arrived. Word traveled that fast, huh? If it's privacy you're worried about, mate, don't be. No one listens to old Ha. But stop by if you ever want to hear the latest yarns, eh? My eyes what they are, I couldn't hit a tree with a boulder. But I got ears like a bull of it. Hey, mate. Grease that our brave cows would be pointing his face without so much as breaking a sweat. Grease told you this? Indeed. You have never seen someone more like that. The lies. You must make him fear you. Then he will speak truth. Z, got any advice on confronting Dagon? Well, in my day, I did watch him spar countless times. A ferocious warrior, that one. With a keen instinct for recognizing weakness. So don't show any. If only it was that easy. I know. Why is it our enemies always seem to be the ones to exploit our failings? We'll speak later. Go on, set forth. With Ravis dead, the Bedlam Raiders have been wounded. This makes them dangerous. They weren't exactly harmless before. No, they were not. I will look after the outpost. The raiders may strike if they think we are vulnerable. I'll be back as soon as I can. I know you will, and I will be waiting. I know it's not much, but it's home. Ah, you know what this place needs? A working refresher? Discipline. Those mouth-breeding raiders just walked in here and made off a Z. I go off planet for one second, and the whole place has gone soft. They've got to get it through their heads that I can't be their fearless leader all the time. People have to learn to defend themselves, Grease. You can't fight their battles for them. All right, finish this thing, will you? I'm going, I'm going. Welcome, welcome. Make yourself at home. <laughs> but that mogu you took out had quite the stench. Ugh, quite. Range with your nose, my mama always said. We once had a feral canifant terrorizing the ranch, just a menace. Destroyed our barn, twice. Canifants cover their own tracks, see? Crafty buggers, practically impossible to find. So how'd you track it? We reversed our vaporators, pumped the air full of moisture. When it's humid, Smells get a lot, um, well, more pungent. Was long before we caught the scent. Clever. Ain't it? We all got five senses, Cal. I figure we might as well use them. Cal, glad you're here. There's talk of a giant piazza nesting in an animal graveyard on the far side of the valley. Figured you want to check it out. You figured right. Look at you. Already sounding like a local. Oh, before I forget. I heard there were a pair of newcomers over by the stone spires. I want to look for them. I already found them. They're gonna start a holotactics table at Pyloons. Now we're talking. 
Piazza that size, well, just don't take it lightly. I won't. Thanks, Mosey. Later, BD. Hey, Cal. We've been wondering something. Yeah, we've been wondering. How's a guy like you end up in a place like this? Engine trouble. <laughs> Don't we know it. So come on, kid. What's next for you? I've got a chance to find someplace safe. I plan to make good on it. Well, I'm no good with advice, but uh, people who... Hell, I messed it up. I'm just trying to say, listen, the happiest folk live somewhere between what they want and what they got. You know? Yeah. I hear you. Really? Sounds to me like the old man's noodle is starting to fray. Damn it, Dana. I was being... Ah, oh, forget it. Talk later, buddy. Word is that Ravis got bumped off. Word travels fast. Sure, when there's credits to be made. Send the raiders running, and we're in business. That's right. We get back into the gorge, kickstart those dams. Maybe we finally make some real scratch. Those dams are in rough shape. Think you're up to it? I know them like the hairs on my back. What Grok here means is we can make him sing again. Yeah, trust us. Keep up the good work, kid. Like what you see? Why is the brood looking for you on Coruscant? Isn't that a real bad neighborhood for you these days? Let's not get into it. Good answer. Anyways, a sharpshooter named Get Mito has been trying to sniff you out at a meatpacking facility. Brought a couple of lackeys with her, but pick off the Alpha, and the pack will scatter. We'll keep our eyes on the prize. Good. Hate to see something happen to you. The going's just starting to get good, Cal. You seem in a good mood. I was thinking how this cantina reminds me of a celebratory dance on my home planet. The cantina reminds you of people dancing? My people don't dance. The dance is my people. All together, without everyone's essence, there is nothing. Like this cantina. Someone ordering a drink from Monk. A joke from Gulu. A hunting tale from Mossy. All these acts combine into something greater than the performers themselves. So, John Art. So, you said you came here after a heist, huh? That's right. I was once the most infamous outlaw in the Outer Rim. Really? Oh, yeah. They call me the Prince of Pilfering, the Mayor of Misdemeanors, the Sultan of Stealth. If you're so notorious, how'd you get here undetected? I snuck into a shipping crate and lived in a aforementioned crate for a long time. A very long time. When Doma unpacked me, she thought I was trash. Good thing she didn't throw you out. Oh, but she did. We still laugh about it. I'm really busy, Cal. Maybe later. Hey, Cal, did you hear those vulture droids screaming around the mountain? Not yet. Wait, don't tell me you're thinking of sampling them. Thinking? It's already done. Dee Dee and I just got back. It must have been dangerous. Oh, yeah. We almost died like ten times. But once we layered those samples over some lo-fi Trandoshan bunk, you gotta hear it to believe it. Don't forget to talk to Dee Dee if you want to switch songs. I won't forget. Any ideas on what to play, BD? So why'd you choose to study the High Republic? You know, I think it is the same reason that people are flocking to Pylun's saloon. Everyone is excited about the possibility of what Kobo could become. I believe that is the kind of optimism that defined the High Republic. Maybe you're right about that. 
Some other time, okay? These dolts. Reveling as if things are better. Well, you can't blame them for being glad Ravis is gone. I can and will. The raiders are still out there, causing mayhem. And even where they're gone, there's the Empire. Replace one boot with another. It doesn't change anything. Always a pleasure, Moran. Anytime. Surrounded by idiots, dull fools dancing into the jaws of oblivion. Well, not me. No, thank you. Rail. Old friend of Moran's. What'll it take to stop your caterwauling? Hey Toa, you mentioned things were changing at the Academy before you left. Uh, it started when the Empire began dumping credits into our projects. Unlimited budget to fund our research. Great, right? But there were strings attached. Yes. We came under constant pressure from Imperial censors to conform to their propaganda. Anyone who did not play along was pushed out in favor of stooges whose work would never stand up under peer review. No moff or governor wants to publish views that question Imperial dominance. I mean, I understand. The censors have their own careers to think of. It's okay, Toa. You don't have to defend a corrupt system. No, I guess not. Monk, I could really use a drink. In just a moment longer, I'll be by. Winnie is living proof that credits can't buy everything. Like friends. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, you said it. So long. Eh. Show this to Z. There's something here.
I know, I know. Come on now. It'll be okay. You okay? The beast here gets spooked when something's wrong. Don't know what it is, but I've learned to trust him. You headed up the mountain? Looks like it. I don't know if that's mad or brave or both, but you watch yourselves up there, you hear? You got it. You again. Just what is going on? First you come by, disturb my peace, now the raiders come to destroy it forever. Is something happening? I don't know, things just don't seem right. Empire's agitated, which makes them dangerous. Okay. You just stay safe. Oh, I ain't going nowhere. I ain't risking my neck. What is this place? Old Loden Dock, back from when things were busy around here. Don't get much activity anymore, though. Not since... Since what? Uh, no, it's nothing. Never mind. Feels like there's something about this place we should know. Mountain's not safe, stranger. I just watch where you go snooping around. We're not really the careful type. Good job, friend. You're not a threat. More priorite. Wonder what this will fetch a dumbest shop. Here we go, buddy. Don't you? You 
got it. you find? What's that, bud? Let's go, BD. Don't fall behind, BD-1. Can't go wrong with more stems. Message. I'm, I'm sorry. Farewell. Oh, a newcomer. Who are you? I'm Cal. This is BD-1. Are you here to rescue us? We were just exploring. How long you been here? We have been trapped down here for at least a standard cycle. Maybe more. We? Ah, oh, yes. It is just me. And has been for some time. But you have cleared the way. Are the raiders gone then? We took care of them. Maybe you should leave before more come. Yes, I will return to the outpost at Rambler's Reach. We had a domicile there. I hope to see you again. <laughs> down here is potent. Okay, let's go.
I'll need to find a different way. Stuff is everywhere. I don't like the look of it. We should be careful. Jacob, at last you grace us. I am one of the last faces you'll see, I expect. These caves will be your tomb. distance. Find something? I'm looking.
will scour this place for anything of note. If anyone tries to interfere, crush them. Let me see. Find something? We have to get back to warn the others. I don't think we're making it back. Thanks, BD. Let's show this to Z. Seems ironic. We're all the way down here trying to reach through the stars. We all must do our part, Padawan. No matter our place. I suppose.
Skuva. Hey, what's waiting beneath the surface this time? These strange climbs harbor a most mysterious resident. The Vesset Lucker. There they love to nestle into the cozier reaches of the sea. But they're need too cozy for Skuva Steph. Nice, I think. right to me. Can I interest you in a, a tale? So there I was, deep in the Garakas trench, one yet harpoon drilled through the paunch, watching the lights feed from my own eyes. The dread captain peeled his whiskers from his teeth and grinned a most ghastly grin, when suddenly I saw the glumbling eels a swirl. It seemed that, in the midst of my distraction, they'd taken flight. It dawned on me. I recalled to me mind the great meeting call of the eels. My last hope. So, rousing my final gasp of air, I sounded their shrill cry. What happened? Well, lad, I'll tell you. The eels swarmed in an electric blaze. The dread crew scattered, and Wanyak, that damn Wanyak, that dread captain, was cooked like an evening quillfish. As the eels smote him into the deep, I felt consciousness run out of my ears. Darkness fell upon me when I awoke. Well, find me again, and I'll conclude my tale. Yeah, it's... 
get this data disk back to Z. I'm sure Z can decrypt this for us. I bet Z can get the data off this disk. The public must have used this to reach the surface. Well, I don't think they fell through a hole in the roof every time, buddy. Fascinating. I can't figure it out. Perhaps there's something in the satellite laboratory that could help us analyze it. All you, BD. Get this data disk back to Z. I wonder if these started growing after the Republic. Either way, good for us.
Do your thing, buddy. Where is he? Where is Dagon Gera? I don't know. We couldn't find him. But he murdered Jedi. He must answer for his crimes. I understand. You're following your code, and I am following mine. I owe him everything. But you... You, I owe nothing. studying the growths here, as well as more research on Kobo Manor. They really found this whole planet fascinating. So he didn't have to leave it all behind. Come on, let's go. What's that, bud? Too. Is this the home you were talking about? Correct. Within there are some possessions. I don't suppose they will need them anymore. So feel free. Look around. Are you sure? I have no need for them. For your help, I insist. skills? Medicine, surgery, healing. What happened in those caverns was terrible. And I was powerless to help. I will learn to prevent that, Cal. It's hard to stop suffering in this galaxy, but always worth the effort. 
Oh, Peely, that weirdo. Always talking to her plans. You know, Peely and her plans have a lot in common. Yeah, they both belong in the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Something you need? We already checked out the caverns. You were right. They're not safe at all. I know that. Why does nobody take notice of me? I'm speaking truth. Uh, well, at least you came out in one piece. Let me know if you need any help. Cal, what's up with that woman who showed up with you? Aaron, she's a good friend. What about her? Nothing, nothing. Are you afraid of Marin? Me? Oh, no, no, no. It's just... Well, I've never seen anyone like her before. Marin's a night sister. A night what? Uh, wait, what is what is that? She's from Dathomir, and she can perform magic. <laughs> now you're just yanking my Wolluna ears. I'm not. She can wake the dead. Don't worry. You have nothing to be afraid of. Usually. Cow! Well, all I know is if the dead start walking around here, you're going to get an earful. You've been coming around here so much, you're basically a regular. You've got great stuff. Most shop owners would offer a discount or the like, but <clears throat> not me. Nothing personal, but you start handing out freebies, you have people up in arms asking, why not me, Doma? <laughs> Don't need to hassle. That makes sense. All right, out with it. You're not carrying disruptor tech, are you? No? How about slicer droids? Don't lie to me. We don't mess with that black market gear. Smart. I made that mistake once. Ooh, never again. Sold some sensor jamming tech to a customer desperate to get a syndicate off his back. They traced the sale. Killed him, came for me. <laughs> We've had a run-in or two with the syndicates. Oh, I barely made it out alive. Now, I keep my product clean. It's a bit pricier, but not as costly as a blaster bolt in the back, I'll tell you that. All goods acquired completely legally, thank you very much. Let's stop here. Done. Let's get this to Cage.
Ozzy said he might be trouble, but I'm not so sure. Easy. Good girl. That was incredible.
Maybe we should take up prospecting, huh, BD? useful in the garden. Hey, this is a good find. Next, let's go to... Coruscant? You sure about this? The capital of the Empire. I have never been there. Coruscant's not so bad. When you're not being shot at. Arsley, I think Gal uh, likes stirring up trouble. I don't. Just want to check on a few things, Grease. Great, have a blast. I'm staying on the Manus. I will mask our approach. Some seat, Cal. to the war we're fighting. Maybe that's a good thing. For now, perhaps. But what this galaxy needs is a true revolution. You gonna lead it? Wouldn't you like that? Just so you know, I never stopped fighting the Empire. It was one of my travel hobbies. Marin's wasted no time in getting comfy on the Manus. Oh uh, yeah? What did she do? Well, for one, she conveniently seems to forget to clean her own dirty dishes. They just sit right there, right on the table, as if to say, Here, Grays, you clean me. Maybe she hexed them. What? She can do that? <laughs> Maybe you should pitch in and do some George BD. And beeping ain't chores. Ah, Coruscant. <laughs> if I set up my cantina here, then I'd really be making some credits. And do you think the Bedlam Raiders are bad? Here you'd have to pay protection to crime lords, bribe CSF officers, you name it. But... I'd have a neon sign with my name on it. And that would make Great Grandma Pyloon mighty proud. I'm sure she'd already be very proud of you, Grease. Well, you think? <laughs> uh, okay, okay, get out of here and do what you gotta do before the Inquisitorius find us again. Coruscant's fun, but it has a way of making you feel insignificant. 
Yeah, no kidding. It's the wealth. The sheer amount of credits flowing in and out of these streets, and right into the pockets of the politicians at the top. Most people are on the outside, even if they don't know it. Maybe someday we can change that. You ever wonder what your life might have been like if you weren't a Jedi? It's so hard to imagine. I think about how I got here. Would I want to try again? A life away from fighting. Um, uh, Farmer. That could be nice. Also hard to imagine you as a farmer. Why? It's a peaceful life. Plenty of space for Kata to play. When we get to Tantalor, you can farm all you want. Can't wait. All this High Republic business has got me thinking. About what? All those years ago, people had the exact same worries we did. Fear of the future. The need to protect one's family. Times change. People don't. Ain't that the truth? A farmer. <laughs> yeah, sounds nice. <laughs> I wonder how long this has been here. Keep moving, buddy. Oh. 
Please. to center myself.
Trade this at Doma's shop.
hit. Let's stop. Let's take a look at... Moon it is. So on your whole journey, finding yourself? Yes. What was your favorite planet? Well, I cannot choose. Well, what's the first that comes to mind? Moncala. It is vibrant, clean, bursting with energy. The people are welcoming and kind. Uh, sounds like the exact opposite of that. Do not sleep, Grace Drydus. Or my sisters will pay you a visit. Get over here, kid. We're about to land. Hollow puck. 
Nice job. Get out there. Headed to Kobo's finest watering hole. What's Dathomir like? I've never been. It's not a tourist planet. Do you tell? Unless you want to see the face of death up close. It is a forbidden place of pain and misery. Kind of makes me want to go now. Perhaps you're not so bad after all. All right, Cal, get up here. Don't you have a mountain to climb? We've planted all we can. I think Master T'Pol would be proud of all the life we've cultivated. What do you think of Kobo so far? It's nice. But? So many here are starving. Hungry for more priorite, more credits, more land. No one is content where they are. Aren't plants the same? How so? Well, they're constantly hungry, constantly craving more sunlight, more space. You have a point. Wanting more doesn't always mean you're greedy just means you'd like to grow. Wise words. I will keep this in mind as our own garden grows. Oh, hello. Oi, cat! Heard you gave Ravis the sack. You know, you weren't the first to take a swing at that Gendai. Ever hear about Toll? I don't think so. Oh, real poet with a pickaxe. A while back, she comes across this load of priorite. Oh, biggest you ever saw. Like a sky full of grinning stars. Of course, then your Ravis shows up, built like a bloody cargo barge, and tells her to get scarce. But Toll, the old nutter, she goes and takes her plasma torch to the Gendai. Of course, poor Tall don't last ten seconds. But I guess sometimes a find like that's worth fighting for, eh? Yeah, well, sometimes the payout isn't worth the price. Uh, maybe. But it's just like the prospectors say. Better a broken pick than a rusted one. Do wish you could have met old Tall. Bit loony, but with real heart. Sounds like it. Brush with the Raiders has rather altered my perspective. 
How so? My assumption was that these raiders were unprincipled thieves and brutes. But they aren't lacking in principle or dedication. They have a code. A rotten code, but a code all the same. Maybe that's what makes them so dangerous. Even in my day, there were those who wrapped their selfish ambitions in a cloak of high purpose. Cough, cough, Dagon Gera. I'm busy, young Jedi. Behold, imports! Gonna go with this one. I hope this will assist you. I'll take it. A most informed choice, gal. Here you go. Excellent selection. Venture in safety, Cal. Gather now. I could go for a scar steak right about now. Any takers? No? Very well then. Perhaps another time. Ah, Gal, we were just discussing what we should renovate next. Just lots else to fix around here, thanks to the raiders, you know. Yes, of course, but surely we can find something a bit more inspiring for our next project than a water pump. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Not now, dear. So, it looks like we aren't the only ones who found romance on Kobo. What, Turgle and Two locked? I don't think that's in the stars. Come now, Carl. That delightfully dark Mervon has been casting wayward glances at you. Marin? What was the look? Hmm. She's a hard one to read. You, however, couldn't be more obvious. So, what are you waiting for? Good question. A lot going on right now. Okay. Don't get so caught up that you miss the small things. Because those are the things you'll remember. Yeah, let's chat later. You ever get frustrated using that new arm? Are you kidding? I love this thing. I can chop vegetables twice as fast, and I can't burn myself. Plus, it's great for self-defense. <laughs> You've been getting into fights? Well, no, but, you know, I could. If someone tried anything, you know, I'm ready. Ah, what do you know? Always something to do, huh? That giant piazza you sweet talk reminds me of a time when I was out on a mountain hike with my older brother. We came across the Tibidi. Ever seen one? Yeah, those are enormous. <laughs> no kidding. Beautiful specimen. Was gonna leave well enough alone. Then, all of a sudden, the Tibidi snatches my brother and takes flight. I scramble up a cliffside. We didn't want to hurt the Tibidi, mind you, but I had to save my brother. Threw my spear, pierced the bee straight through. That must have been quite the throw. How'd you manage it? And what choice did I have? Brother fell, got a few scrapes. He was lucky. Wish I could have talked that Tibidi down. But there are some fights you just can't avoid. Salutations. Hmm. Say we short the central conduit, slice it through the emergency couplings. Might be enough to get the sluice gates going. Huh. Might actually work. Selection in the system guaranteed. Could use this. Good luck with that. Try not to die. There's Mr. Popular. A bounty hunting droid named Rez is stomping around the forest array. Don't bother squaring up. Stay light on your feet and you'll dance around that rust bucket. How'd you get involved with Sork Tormo and the Haxian Brood? Oh, uh, the usual. 
I claimed the bounty on a brood hitman, and Sork sent more high guns after me. I sent them back, you could say, in a way that got his full attention. Sork reached out with a job offer not long after. You've got to have a little streak of crazy to stay in this game. Yeah, that checks out. Ah, it is you. A word of caution. Here we go, BD. One sun sets, another rises. Hotter, brighter, blinding. Blinding? As you said, when a sun sets, the lot wolves will always howl for its return. And who are these wolves in this vision of yours? Who, oh, indeed. He who walks with wolves is taught to howl. Cal, is it true? Is Ravis really gone? Yeah. You relieved? You'd think so, wouldn't you? But I'm actually sad. It almost feels like I killed him. He did try to kill you. Oh yeah, a few times. But none of this would have happened if I wasn't trying to make a quick credit. I'm a murderer! Hey, Monk! What's it take for a frog with blood on his hands to get some service around here? <laughs> Ravis, forgive me! Cal, hey, uh, that projection wave that came down from the moon, you know anything about that? Yeah, BD and I, we, uh, were inside the firing cylinder. Wait, what? Do you have a death wish or something? It was the only way through. You were actually inside the thermal housing? Then why weren't you cooked alive? Wait, don't tell me. Uh, perhaps some sort of high propulsion shielding. Cal, did you notice any ablative coating? No, but I was a little busy at the time. Uh, uh, of course, uh, silly of me. Uh, but if you go back, be on the lookout for that ablative coating. What a time to be alive. An installation that size. You gotta wonder how they aligned the optical resonator. So how'd you like playing on Coruscant? At first, I loved it. Dunder City's this melting pot of all these different struggles. A real vivid place, you know? After a few months of small gigs, though, I got bumped up to the popular clubs. It didn't take long for me to start hating it. Not your scene? It wasn't a, a conversation, you know? Those crowds just wanted to be able to say they'd seen the next big thing. Sounds like you were really on the rise. Well, my agents were ambitious. Scored me a deal that could have had me on billboards all over the core. But I said no. That takes guts. Well, so does slicing up raiders. But you gotta do what you gotta do, right? There's more music to find out there, Cal. I saw your things in the back room. You'll have to forgive the more tasteless ornaments. Some of it used to belong to Dreo, my old partner. He had a ghastly sense of style. Another outlaw? Not when I met him. He was running a perfectly legitimate port in Rhodia. Allowed me to use his docks for my shipments. No questions asked, supposedly. But we got to talking anyways. Sounds like a nice guy. He was the genuine article, all right. Probably why things didn't work out between us. So you've been out of the game completely since the Empire cracked down? More or less. Not that I didn't go down swinging. When the company went belly up, I insisted I could turn things around. But Dreo, my partner, he wanted to leave together. So what happened? Well, he left, all right. But in my infinite wisdom, I decided to stick it out. Try to turn the cards in my favor. I got greedy. I can't tell you how badly I wish I'd gone with him. Instead, I chose what you might call the scenic route to rock bottom. And that brings us to this rue brittle cantina, years later. At least he got out eventually. Will you take some advice, Cal? Sure. It's not just about getting out. It's about getting out before you lose everything.
What secrets do you hold? <laughs> Gotten yourself into a real mess, haven't you, Turgle? Always on the run, scraping by for credits. Everyone hates me. Doesn't matter where I go. I'm always alone.
What's this? What'd you find, buddy? where you are. Just what are you trying to pull? We got laws around here. Ugh, oh, correct this. Run! <laughs> Afraid not. Not a bad find. A shard. Let's trade it at Doma's shop. See if Doma's interested in this.
fight together. Was close. Sounds like it was pretty crowded down here. Not a bad find. On alert. Systems ready. You think you're ready for whatever's lurking in the shadows? Always. I see something. Fight by my side. Identify yourself now. <laughs>
Moving out. We have a visitor. What's all this? We mustn't wake them. They need their rest. Rest for what? For the ascension of the masters. The ascension of the deathless one. Ravis. You're fixing droids for the raiders. I rouse the little ones from their slumber. Nothing good can come of... You don't want to sell these droids to Ravis. I don't? Your droids deserve a kinder master than Ravis. Yes, the little ones deserve better. Come, little ones. Once my work is finished, we will find a new home. You, Ravis requested upgrades. I obliged. I need them no longer. Take them. Okay. Thanks. Shard. Let's trade it at Doma's shop. I'm sure Z can decrypt this for us. Well, this wasn't part of the deal, you know. We came to this rock together. We we're supposed to leave together. Oh, well, I ain't gonna forget you, you know that. And I ain't leaving you.
Come on, Echo. Another shard. No ordinary droidica. Okay, I'll look.
more priorite. a threat. Never thought I'd see a Jedi. It's exciting. I wonder how much those lightsabers can... Taking the shot. Everything burns. Unmet delivered damage. There's a fighting running. System damage.
got it. Let's move, BD. Let's take this to Domas. Got something, buddy? Find something?
my side. Nice here. Huh. And come up for the view. I see why. It's beautiful. Just watch your step. Yeah, no kidding. Stim, please, buddy. Find something? <laughs> Got something, buddy? What'd you find? Meditation chamber Toa mentioned. You're hiding something, huh? <laughs> yes, you are. But I've come. 
come this far. Too much blood. <laughs> Just a little further now. Welcome, Jedi. Your mind is your greatest asset. Both blade and shield against dark forces. The Force moves through your thoughts and into your actions. Let it guide you now. are a wonder. Wait until you visit the monitoring station. The fungus there will amaze you. Sure, Z can decrypt this for us. The chambers are unique. Each one hones a different facet. Interesting. We shall have to see how we can better facilitate your work. Jedi and Republic, working together. I can barely remember a time like that. Let's stop.
Thanks, bud. <laughs>